Hey guys, Ben Funberg, welcome to the channel. We're gonna go out and find some underwater structure, a little bit deep water today, and we're gonna work on uh, using a Ned rig to catch them with. So stay tuned for this episode. All right, we got that screen cleaned up. Now we're gonna throw down there on them. If he's anywhere in there, there's one right over here. My scope is shooting out 90 feet. I'm gonna find them, boys. We're gonna find them. All right, dropping him in, going right down here. See it, see it going down? Going down, going down, going down, going down. I'm on the bottom. All right, he going up for it. There you go. Look at him. He going in. Look at that, boys. He's on there. Yeah. Got a good bass on here. Yeah. Come off that bottom. Picked it up. Yeah. Couldn't stand it. Could not stand it. Feel like a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Uh, there you go. That's a pretty decent one. Uh, let's throw him back in there with his brothers. That bass come right off the bottom. He come right off that bottom on that to get that lure. All right, I'm going to scan out here some more. Let's see what I'm showing you here. And I'm just scanning this bottom. I'm like in 10 foot of water. Because there's a little, there's just a little bit of a high point out here. I got one just loner about 60 foot out. I'm going to throw down there. You see him right here. Let's see if I can find my lure. Sometimes you can run right by the side. There, there. I just run right beside him. Come on, hit it. Hit it. He's going after it. See? They can't go after it. He backed off of it. Y'all saw him running over there to it. Old live scope. Live scope. Alright, we're gonna scan around here a little bit more here. See what we can find. Remember, I'm trying to fix I'm trying to fish any structure that I see down here. I'm, like I say, I'm shooting out about 90 feet. And the wind's kind of blowing me around from where I was wanting that little high point. Let me get back around there. You're going to use this live scope. You just about got to have you a, a turret or something to keep you stationary. Uh, that live scope, if you put it on that uh, trolling motor it's going to move around every time you uh you turn that motor and you can't you can't focus on what your target so you need a separate uh what they call a turret attachment to your trolling motor so you can uh so at least you can stay stationary on that target you can see right here on to, to my right i got that structure coming up and we're gonna fish, we wanna fish that structure. I got, it looks like bass on there. They're just right on the bottom. All right, I'm gonna go over on that. You see what I'm saying? That's a bass right there. Got a couple of them sitting, got a couple of them. See all those bass right there? Those vertical lines, bass. And my lure is just going right down there to him. Come on, hit it. 
There you go. All right, I got another tie here, buddy. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Come on over here. That's on the Ned rig, that little small one. The, uh, oh, he won't splash up on me. Come on over here. Yeah. That's a decent one there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He just about swallowed that thing. I mean, oh, he got it down in his throat. Yeah. There we go. There you go. About the same size fish as the other one. Look at that. Look at her tail. Been fanning that bed. And we've been in this little bit of area a while and uh, we've been catching bass like crazy and I may have got to the point where I wore these bass out and they ain't wanting it now. He goes up for it. Oh yeah. Oh he had it. Oh he had it boys. He had it. Let me throw back over there. There's two of them. Let me throw back over there on them. They had a hit. They had a good hit there. There he is. Oh, he got that. He's not no biggie. Come on over here, buddy. He ain't no biggie. Mm-hmm. He's small. He's small. I'm using a Z-Man. That, uh, it's that new type of plastic elastic it seems to I can use it over and over and over and over and I got one two three I got a couple bass showing right out here in front of me 60 feet out you see that one there goes my lure down there to him Let's see if we can Yeah, he's going up at it. Yeah, he got it. There you go. Right here at the boat. Come right up at it. Yeah. I can't stand it. That's a good one there. That's a heavy one. A lot bigger fish. Yeah. Ugh. Got a little bit of a ridge right in there. Let's see. See the bass right there? There's two or three of them right in there. Ooh, look over here. See them? There goes my lord down. Oh, no. He's right at the top. He's got a couple of fish right out here in front of me. They stacked up. Got a little high point up here in front of me. Ooh. Come on, Mr. Bass. Come on, Mr. Bass. I got what looks like two or three bass in front of me. Let's see if we can pick up one of them real quick. 
I don't see it on the there we go screen look at him go up to it oh he got oh he let go of it he had it he had it hmm Throw over again, Aiden. All right, we're gonna target right on top of this ridge, right out in front of him. Here we go. Here we go. See it going down. There it goes over to it. There. Oh, you got it. Oh, y'all see. Oh, the two or three of them going after it. Oh, y'all saw that jumping up out of the water. Yeah. Yeah. Fighter. That's a fighter there, brother. He don't want to be caught. He don't want to be caught. Oh, he's been caught a few times. Oh, here's John. Okay. I'm shooting out about 65 feet in front of me on top of this. Huh. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Not no biggie. Just scanning around, guys. Let me run this thing out about. I like to run it out about 90 to 100 and just scan with the live scope for structure and fish. And even if you don't see any. If you don't see any fish, it don't mean they're not there. It just means, I mean, it could mean they're just laying on the bottom. Oh, who wanted that? If I see vertical lines, then that's what I want to throw on. If I see vertical lines on the live scope, more than likely, those are going to be bass. Sometimes you can get a, I like to call them loners. They're just kind of swimming out on their own. You can target those fish, kind of gauge where they're at, and let your lure run down there beside them. You ain't going to catch them every time, but sometimes they'll take it. There's a mouth, you just got to put some tension on it, and as uh, on that bite, you got to pull it to get that, in my opinion, to get that hook embedded good. Just keep that tight, that tight tension on it. All right, there he is. Oh, he's gonna give me another try here. Uh, yeah, about the same size, I believe. He won't come on. Oh, he won't jump out of the water on me. Uh, come on up here. Oh, that's big. That's a little bit bigger. Not much. A little bit bigger. Oh. Yeah. About the same size. Uh. 
we got an overcast day and the temperatures the water temperature is in the 70 about 70 no 67 degrees and uh air temperatures in the 50s right now really not really good day to be fishing excellent day to fish yeah I'm gonna throw back out there on that ridge there you go see i'm right here on this ridge look at him go up there to it can you see that yeah they like that old ned rig it's real subtle finesse looking see the bass right here all right there you go. I got it again yeah they on the bottom out here stacked up on the bottom yeah don't miss the opportunity if you if you got your grab you can grab them humps and ridges in the water like that and just you know throw your marker down if you don't have that live scope just throw your marker down and uh fish it don't pass up the opportunity to those, those humps that there's a little bit smaller guys i hope you enjoyed the show we had a very good uh fishing trip um those those fish were like i say were uh in a little bit deeper water holding off them humps and uh, those little dips and valleys that i was fishing in that deep water uh they pretty much were laid down uh and they would just dart up and grab that bait as i, I run it run across that uh, uh hump and um a lot of fun a lot of fun didn't catch nothing real big but had a good time um if you like the channel please subscribe and uh, uh until next time god bless all of you and have a great week see you later